Good morning, day, evening or night. Today we'll look at a simple upgrade to your low profile key cron keyboard. It's about visuals as well as feel. Your setup might look like this. I mean, the trusted old Kana mouse sure did its job, but you look a bit sad, old friend. So you're thinking it's time for some upgrades. You add the palm support, a nice little piece of wood that goes well with your desk mat. And maybe you buy something like the Apple Magic Trackpad or maybe Keychron's own M3 mouse. They're both white and soothing. What to do with the keyboard then? Well, you can always change the keycaps. If you buy the Keychron K7 Pro, for example, you get these nice looking pro keycaps. I want to be pro. Now, thankfully, you can buy them separately as well. The kit covers a wide range of keyboards. They're double shot PBTs, nice flat profile, solid construction, and it really feels good. Now just make sure you check the compatibility with your keyboard. All right, let's get this old gal out of here and open the box. The keycaps come packed in these nice trays and you can see it covers a lot of keys. Ironically, the escape key escaped. I think it's at work or somewhere. Compared to the regular keys, these are way bigger. They have a flat profile. And since these aren't meant for a lower percent layout keyboard, they don't have the additional legends you'd access with the function keys, which I think makes them look cleaner. You know that keycap puller that comes in the keyboard box? Yeah, I don't have time for that today, but I just brute force my way through here. Time to go pro. This is the first one. Get it first, first one. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Feels really good to see how it assembles itself into this nice black and white keycap style. I guess we're also replacing that escape key with something a bit more fun. Place the old keycaps in tight order for them to perfectly set up next time you want to use them. Just like that. Look at this. This looks so much cleaner. The keycaps are whiter than the mouse. The M3 has this pale, super bright gray color, but they match anyways. When it comes to the feel of these keycaps, they feel a tad heavier. Like it, it requires a bit more force to push them down. They sound a bit more thumpy as well, which I like. Now let's do a couple of sound tests so you can hear the difference between the two. The best way is, of course, to test them out for yourself. I'll leave links in the description below.
All right, we've gone from gray and dull to bright and pro. I think it looks great. Tell me in the comments below what you think. And thanks for dropping by. Peace.